experiment. An experiment is an experiment. <laughs> an experiment is an experiment, no shit, right? Um, an experiment is a carefully controlled comparison, right? So you're going to make a comparison between one condition and another condition. So at the very least, you need two types of conditions, often called independent variables, um, or the difference between those conditions would be your independent variable, and you're going to measure something of interest. That thing that you're measuring of interest is your dependent variable. So some phenomenon of interest, whatever. So if I'm trying to decrease nose picking, nose picking is your dependent variable. And the methods by which you do that is your independent variable to decrease it, right? So we're going to make comparisons between those in particular ways to allow us to draw logical conclusions about what had the effect while we're ruling out confounds. Confounds are known as extraneous variables, concomitant variables, all sorts of things. But we're going to rule the confounds out by designing an experiment. In other words, designing a series of conditions that allow us to make the comparisons to decide whether or not the independent variable or variables is having an actual effect on the dependent variable. That's an experiment. And that's, there's lots of things that are pseudo-experimental, and we'll come to that later. Bye.